welcome to Off Grid RV. Today we are going to go grab a cedar log with the four wheeler and cut some exterior trim. I want to show you how you can avoid wavy cuts on your bandsaw and a lubrication trick on your bandsaw also. So let's go get a log and I'll talk to you in a bit. Today I'm using my log arch setup behind a 2010 Honda Rancher. All right, so everybody that was interested in my log loading setup, I'll go in a little bit more detail real quick. What I have, it's a 20 foot long, four inch I-beam. Uh, that could definitely be bigger. That's the lightest I would go on that. The trolley is a one ton trolley from Harbor Freight. The chain hoist is a two ton chain hoist from Harbor Freight. At each end, I just have a simple post with the base to keep it stable that direction. And then a couple of braces here down to a log. You could put a few stakes in the ground if you needed to and put some braces back. You could even do this all out of steel, make it even, even stronger. This is the lightest weight setup I would go with. So I pull the ATV with the log arches right, try to center the log under there. I hook up a chain that's wrapped in two spots to help stabilize the log when you pick it up. And then the chain hoist hooks in the middle of the slack in between. So that's just one chunk of chain with a hook on each end. I just take the weight off the log arches unhook them and roll it right over to the mill. So here's what I use for bandsaw blade lubrication. Uh, take a gallon jug of water and mix in a teaspoon of bar chain oil or diesel fuel and a teaspoon of dish soap. The oil will keep things from sticking to the blade and help lubricate. The soap will help disperse the oil in the water. Your blade will stay nice and clean if you run the soap and oil in water. So there are a few things you can do to keep from having wavy cuts or fix wavy cuts if you are having them. The number one thing is your blade sharpness. It has to be very sharp. Um, once, it, once it gets dull, it'll start wandering around and running hot and it just gets worse. And you can ruin the blade if you don't exchange it out and have that one sharpened. Reason number two for wavy cuts is a blade that doesn't run parallel to the track. If you have your track set perfectly level, the blade needs to be set nice and level. Make sure if you use a little level like this that you have it set on a tooth that is set downwards to not obstruct the reading. Reason number three for wavy cuts can be your blade tension. Make sure your tension is set exactly where it's supposed to be. Reason number four for wavy cuts are your blade guides set improperly 
too much gap. When you hit knots and figure in the wood, it can cause the blade to want to follow the grain. So the blade guides will help eliminate that when they're set properly. Reason number five for wavy or curved beam cuts is your track not set properly. If your track looks like a banana, your board is going to look like a banana. So you got to have your track set perfectly flat and level. So when you level your track, what I do is sit one side first. Make sure it's straight. You can use a string line and make sure it's level. After you get that one side set, go to each end and level across and get each end level crossways. And then all you have to do is straighten the other track. Use the string line again. Number six is don't push your saw through the wood too fast. All right, that's it for the day. Please hit thumbs up if you like the video. Um, feel free to comment in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time. Bye.